She's a really beautiful girl, and like I love how she has red hair. It's like so different. Let's see what she has here. We have this weird photo where she has a ton of pretzels in her mouth. That's cool. Pretzels are cool. Look like teeth. What about that girl that you're supposed to fight? I'm supposed to? Listen, listen, listen. She did do this whole entire thing about like how like she I need to text her back, which I thought it was like through my actual messages, which I didn't think she had my number, but supposedly it's through my TikTok, so let's see if she DM'd me. What? Look. Did she actually message you or no? She's scared. She's scared of Wait, hold on. Maybe I checked my Instagram, I checked my spam account, I text I checked my normal account. She did not DM me or text me. And I would know. And I was like actually like who lies about that? She didn't message on either of them. Wait, you should go to look. Oh my god. There's, There's no nothing message. on here. Let's message her. Are we exposing her right now? I don't know. Is she lying? It's totally fine. All love out here, but like, if you want to text me, just go on and text me. Did Piper Kel just respond to Harper and her diss track, or are fans just trying to bait her into responding? Loves, Piper is getting trolled on TikTok after her recent video went viral, and it all has something to do with her reacting to Harper's diss track. So, Piper recently took to TikTok and uploaded a seemingly innocent video of her dancing with her friend, Anna. However, the video didn't get the reaction that Piper was initially hoping for. As soon as she uploaded the video, people flooded her comments and they all seem to have the same message. Harper is the goat. Harper for life. There's a new queen bee. Harper all the way. Piper, make your comeback song already. You need to react to her diss track. Y'all, Piper's comments were going crazy with fans growing impatient waiting for Piper to react to Harper's diss track. Not long after, a section of people even started tagging Harper in the comments. Love. So many people were doing this that it ticked the TikTok algorithm into thinking that Piper reacted to Harper's diss track. So whenever people clicked on Harper's account, TikTok's search suggestion would change and it would tell people to search for Piper's reaction to Harper's song. Now, many people would would quickly click on the search bar excited to see Piper's reaction only to quickly get disappointed that it was all a glitch. But in my investigation of the glitch, I quickly noticed that most people didn't even know how the Piper and Harper beef even began. So let me take you through the entire timeline of the beef to ensure that we are all on the same page. Now, one day while they were recording their podcast, Harper was asking a hypothetical question. If she had to do a celeb boxing match, who would she choose? Harper quickly quickly answered Piper and loves that clip went viral. Everybody started sharing it and tagging Piper saying that she had been called out by Harper. Harper, if you got the Thank opportunity, you. would you do a celebrity boxing match? Yes. With who? Piper Raquel. Fight. Harper and yeah, Piper like... Raquel boxing would be wild. Piper, let's fight. She's coming oh! for you. Oh, that was okay. really scary. By the way, at that time, Piper and Harper had never even met or had any contact whatsoever. Seeing the funny side of this hypothetical question that was posed to Harper, Piper made a couple of lighthearted TikToks to comment down a section of her fans who kept on tagging her in the viral Harper clip. After a series of back and forths, Harper revealed that she said that she didn't actually DM Piper, but she got ghosted. A visibly angry Harper even went as far to say that she wasn't interested in being friends with Piper and all she wanted was a fight. Yeah, once Piper doesn't DM me back, I will try to fight her. Oh, yeah. Okay, just don't move your mic at all. Okay, all right. Are you not scared that she might be like okay. taller than you? No because I can just grab her by the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand, Piper claimed that she hadn't received any DMs from Harper on any of her accounts. Piper said that she had absolutely no communication from Harper. All they had was a series of back and forths on TikTok. Piper then reached out to Harper in her DMs and asked Harper if she was willing to sit down and talk. But at this point, Harper wasn't interested. She replied saying, nah, sorry, I wanna fight. I understand you're too scared to fight a 14 year old when you're 17, don't worry we all have our biggest fears. Loves, by this point, Harper seemed to have run out of patience because everyone online was telling her that she couldn't win the fight because Piper was bigger and older than her and she worked out every day. Harper seemed to just want to show everyone that she was up for the challenge despite being just 14. This caused people to start calling Harper immature for not wanting to talk to Piper. Just take a look at this more than harsh comment Harper was receiving at the time. Piper being mature for once. Piper is being more mature and Piper
Piper is going to win because she's stronger. She lifts weights before breakfast or something, and Harper is acting more immature by saying that she doesn't want to mess with Piper. In my opinion, Piper just wanted to chat, and Harper was being salty and saying to fight. Fighting does not get you in life, but this is just my opinion, though. I am team Piper because Harper is scrawny, and Piper lifts weights every day. Harper, when she threw that punch, I was dying laughing. Like, girl, if that's how you throw a punch, you're going to get beat up all the time. Not to mention Piper is way stronger than you, and Harper is just dragging it on at this point. Like, if y'all are going to fight, fight already. Stop with all this talk. I can just grab her by the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Our little ankle biter. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm going to do to you, Piper. So. Oh, whoa. After this, the beef went quiet for a couple of days and fans started thinking that it died down. But boy, were they wrong. The beef had somehow spread to Cash and Gavin at this point. So Cash posted a video talking about how he accidentally started beef between Piper and Harper, referencing that moment in Harper's podcast where Cash asked Harper who she would fight. Now, the next clip exploded as soon as it was uploaded and it caught the attention of Gavin. In a now deleted TikTok, Gavin responded seemingly on Harper's side and basically told Cash that since he started the beef, he should end it. Loki insinuating that if the Piper and Harper thing wouldn't happen, there should be a Gavin and Cash fight instead. Since technically speaking, Gash started the whole thing. By the way, around this time, Piper did a reaction video on Harper going through her photos and videos trying to better understand who Piper was. This led fans to start believing that Piper was doing some research before they could officially announce their fight. However, that wasn't the case because both Harper and Piper then did the most unthinkable thing ever and it left the world shocked. So Piper was on her IG live one day and she surprised everyone by inviting Harper to join her live. What's up? How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. As you can see, I'm getting red right now because I'm flustered. Okay, but you look absolutely like gorgeous right good. now. Oh my god, stop. I, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that because we're like beefing, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's like off, off, offline, like you look yeah, so pretty yeah, right off, now. But, but, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but back no. online, like I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're ready, I'm ready, bro. Fans were surprised and excited, expecting to see the two get into a heated argument or something, but that wasn't what happened. Harper and Piper ended up being super nice to each other. Loves, if you didn't know them and you happened to see that live, I swear you would think they were just best friends just talking. The live was so nice and wholesome, leaving fans very confused and conflicted. On the one hand, it was lovely seeing how the two got along and were cheery, but on the other hand, fans who were expecting carnage after their intense beef were just left confused and disappointed. Many even felt that the beef was all staged and Harper and Piper just scammed everyone with all the boxing talk. Some fans even started saying that they were being used for clout. Just take a look at these not so pleased fans after news of Piper and Harper's live went viral. Help the switch up. What people do for online attention is crazy. Harper and Piper are two-faced. Bro, I knew they were doing it for views and they were faking it. I'm mad Harper lied to us. She said that they were going to fight, but they're not fighting. They are being nice to each other. Like what? That was not nice. Now, after all of the reactions from the live had died down, videos started trending on Snapchat of Harper recording a music video. Word started going around that she was working on a diss track aimed at Piper. This rumor divided opinions because people had just seen them being friendly to each other on live. Turns out that behind the scenes, things weren't all friendly between the two. So barely a week later, Harper dropped her diss track and it broke the internet. Y'all, we all have listened to the diss track and we can attest that Harper wasn't holding anything back. Right from the opening bar of the song, Harper had her eyes set on Piper. Now, Harper began opening up about the things that happened behind the scenes and what led her to make the diss track in the first place. Harper admitted that she didn't want to even write the song, but Piper left her no choice. Harper dropped a bombshell in the song, revealing that the reason that she felt she needed to include this in her song was because, according to her, Piper had been lying to everyone, claiming that she hadn't seen her DMs, but in fact she had and she was just ignoring her. Her. Okay, in between takes, how are you feeling? Good, good. I love it so much. It's so much fun. You're having fun? Yes, yes. Oh, 
<laughs> well, you look so. I feel so weird though because like I'm not supposed to be a mean person, like a diss track person. But like I don't know. You don't look very mean, I promise. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Loves throughout the entire song. One thing was made clear by Harper, and it was that she wanted to take Piper's throne on YouTube, and she was not willing to play nice anymore. Just take a look at this one verse where Harper said, "I'm here to take away your fame. I know that you know that I am a threat. I know that you know that I am the best. You know." we all know that D, I am what's next, and that is the reason that you're scared to death. Y'all, despite her upbeat and cheery persona in the behind the scenes clips of the diss track, Harper seems to have a serious agenda against Piper. Was it for clout or does she feel like Piper legit wronged her? Now, the thing that seems to anger Harper the most was that she felt that Piper is not being honest with her. Like on the second verse of the diss track, she said, I mean, I know it started all this, but I thought you could put up a better fight. I mean, if I was you, I'd be embarrassed. I think it's funny how you run your mouth all over social media, but then you're really quiet when it comes to me DMing you. And yeah, it's been three weeks and I still haven't heard from you. Like, what are you waiting for? For Gavin to get back with you? Yo, she didn't message on either of Wait, you go. Oh my God. There's, There's no nothing message. on here. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, let's message her. Are we exposing her right now? I don't know. Is she lying? And there's no way she texted you because, like, she doesn't have your name. Oh. Y'all, that verse in particular has led a lot of people to start speculating that the reason Harper started coming after Piper was because of all the drama she has had around her over the past year. However, people also started saying that Harper expected it to be easier to benefit from all the attention that was around Piper, but that didn't turn out to be the case. That's why Harper felt angry because despite Piper teasing the possibility of a fight between them to her fans, like in her video titled My First Boxing Fight, where Piper clearly had Harper on the thumbnail with her face blurred out. Is there she, something she, funny? She, there's, she no, there's nothing funny about she, this. She won't text you back? No, she won't text me back. I texted her, I texted her about three days ago. Man. Still won't text me back. So. Wow. She's swerving you. She's swerving <laughs> yeah, you. Stop, she made the stop, TikTok about stop you. Stop ducking yeah. me. Stop doing all these things to hide from me. I will yeah. find you. Loves, what made Harper even angrier is that in the video, Piper, without mentioning Harper's name, continuously hinted that she was getting ready to fight someone who had been calling her out. At one point, she even implies that she has DM'd Harper to set up the fight. But like, if you wanna text me, just go on and text me. So when you constantly get comments and messages, oh, text her back, text her back, why aren't you texting her back? There's nothing in text! So as we can see, we can all relax and take a breath, sit back down because you know, there's no reason to be angry or upset that I didn't text anyone back because there's no text message. Now, at this point, that's all that has occurred between the Harper and Piper beef. It all started by an innocent hypothetical question, but now the two, Harper in particular, seems extremely mad about the entire thing. However, the question remains, is Piper dodging Harper by not responding, or is she just waiting for the proper moment to drop her response? At some point, I also legit thought that this was all for clout, but the more I look into the matter, the more I feel the beef is real, especially from Harper's end. But at this point, I would like to know what is going through Piper's head. Waking up every day to all the requests from people to react to the diss, like, what is Piper thinking at this very moment? Anyways, do y'all think that we will ever hear Piper's response to this track, or will she just ignore it until it dies down? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to check out my other videos to ensure that you are up to date with all the latest tea. Till next time, bye loves!